Hello, a very good afternoon to Miss Hanis and whoever is watching. If you're watching in the night, good night, good evening. If you're watching in the morning, good morning. Okay, so today I will be introducing to 10 Korean phrases that I've learned from um, some TV dramas that I've watched. Um, Korean language is actually quite easy to pick up if you're watching dramas and it's kind of popular and can be used in different situations. So I would introduce the 10 phrases to you today by using different situations. The first one is called 저기요. 저기요 means excuse me in Korean. It can be used in when you are on the streets and you want to ask about where is the direction. You can just ask a, a stranger like 저기요. Uh, how do I get there? It's an excuse me. How do I get there? And if the if the person as, answer you that oh he doesn't know where this is place, and you can just reply him with 괜찮아. It means never mind. So in this situation, we can learn that um, 저기요 is excuse me, and 괜찮아 is never mind. It also can be used in different situations. Just that um, I'm giving you a situation for you to learn. Um, what is that um, particular term and let's go to the second scene and the second scene I've thought of is um, when you are with your friends and your friends ask if you you and your friends wanted to go to the KTV and have some fun together okay your friend might say Kaja it means let's go Kaja means let's go and if you wanted to go to the KTV your friends will say, Kaja, let's go to the Norebang. Norebang means KTV in Korean. If your reply is a yes, you can reply, Choa. Choa means yes, and it also can be a lot of different meanings like it's good, or you like it, or let's, or yes. Choa has um, different meanings in Korean, Dep depends on which situation you're using. If you're using it in this situation to reply others' request, you mean Choa is yes. But if you are referring to something that you like or referring to something that's good, you can say, yeah, this school is choa, this school is good. Um, so if your reply is no, you can say, um, 싫어요. 싫어요 means um, I don't want it. Or you can also be mean in Korean like I hate it. So it's a opposite, it's a... It's the opposite with choa. Choa means I like it, while shiloyo means I hate it. So it can be used in different situations also. Okay, let's go to. Uh, so far, we have learned um, seven Korean phrases. Okay, let's go to. Oh, six Korean phrases. Okay, let's go to another scene, which is the last one. You often see some um, love story in the Korean dramas. And let's give you a scene for this. With your boyfriend and girlfriend, um, if a boyfriend wants to, if a boy wants to ask a girl out, or he wants to ask the girl to be his girlfriend, he can say, 우리 사귀자. 우리 사귀자. 우리 사귀자 means let's date. Let's be together. Let's be a couple. And some, you know, you can have some cute names, uh, cute names and cute calls within your couple. And there are a few I can teach you in Korean. And the first thing is Pabo. Um, Pabo is um, idiot in Korean, but it's kind of in a cute way. If you say it in a cute way, you may say to your girlfriend or your boyfriend, say, Yeah, no Pabo ya. It means, Yeah, you're so, you're an idiot and maybe you're shy or something. Yeah. So, and then between couples, they might say some good morning or good night. And I'll teach you how to say good night in Korean. Um, so if you see Korean drama, if you watch Korean drama, you might see that the couple are parting their ways and they may say goodbye to each other. And the way they say good night is 잘자. 잘자 means good night in Korean. So yeah. And you know when couples have um, some names for each other. Yeah, so. There is one name that can be related to some English words, some English slang such as 
um, honey, uh, or my dear, or something. In Korean, that 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 term is called chagia. Chagia means dear, my dear, or something like chagia. Pamomo kale. It means yeah, chag. Hey dear, um, do you want to go to eat together or something like that? Yeah, this wraps up the ten phrases. I'm ten Korean phrases. I'm going to introduce it. Okay, let's have a looking back. Okay, the first two is chogio is excuse me, and the second one is kwenchana. Kwenchana is never mind, and the third one is kaja. Kaja means let's go. The fourth one is norebang. Norebang means the KTV, uh, where karaoke, and the fifth one is shiroyo. Shiroyo means I don't want it or no. Um, the sixth one is chowayo. Chowayo means um I like it or yes. The seventh one is urisakicha. Urisakicha means um let's date. Uh, let's go out together. Uh, let's um let's be in a relationship. Um, the eighth one is Pabo. Pabo means um idiot um in a cute way. Um, the ninth one is chaija. Chaija means good night, and the tenth one means chagia. Chagia means dear. Okay, so this is the ten Korean phrases. Um, um, I'm going to share about the thoughts of I think how I think learning another language can empower me. I've always been a fan of learning different languages. As living in a, as a Malaysian, you can learn different languages in Malaysia, such as the three main languages you will learn, like English, Chinese, and Malay. There are also some dialect languages you might learn from your family, because for Chinese we have some different dialect dialect languages, such as the Cantonese or Hokkien or Hakka, something like that. Um, for me myself, I can speak. Fluent in five languages, which is English, Chinese, and Malay, and Hokkien and Cantonese. So currently, I'm learning Korean by myself. Um, I hope I can be fluent soon. Um, I think that the the two things that how can it empowers me is that the first thing is it it can increase my capability on speaking with different kinds of people, because when you're going to overseas, it's better that you. You can blend in with them and speak the same language with them. Such as if you're going to Korea, um, it is more better that if you can you you know this language, you know Korean, and then you can speak Korean with them, and um, you it can be more accurate on um um informing the meaning or saying what you want. Um, also it can be used in a lot of a lot of places, such as you can translate books. Um, if you are good at it, uh, you can translate. You can help someone to translate the language to others, and also, it's also one thing that you can watch different. You can watch different movies and dramas without using the subtitles and and understand the full meaning with its own language. The second thought I think that it empowers me in learning other language is um, by learning another language you. Will learn the culture also, because in such as in Korean, you can um there are a lot of words that are used in different situations, and they have words and terms that use for respected elders or res or some uh people that are elder than them to show their manners. Also, if you're use if you're if you're learning Thai, they have the Sawadika and the Sawadika. It's For different genders, also, and if you're learning in French, it also have different words to use on boys or girls. It helps us to know more about the culture. Like, oh, why? Why is it so? Why is it different on genders? Why is it like this? So I think that it it really helps me to know about the culture. As now I have I know five um um more five language and six the sixth one is learning kind of um. I actually can 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 know the culture behind, um, the words they are using. Um, it has different histories on that. If you take a look with it, and if you are, um, if you know if you know, what the meaning is behind. Um. Okay. So, 
this wraps up my tutorial work today. Um, thank you Miss Hanis for watching my video and thank you for everyone watching my video. I hope I help you learn, I made you learn some new words. Thank you, see you next time.